Are you looking for the best bang for the buck brake upgrade for your sports car? Sport luxury car, Lexus IS 300, any car for the, that matter. I have what I consider to be the best value out there. So upgraded rotor, upgraded pads, a little bit better than OEM, but not as expensive, not as extreme as the higher end big brake kits. I like this kit. I'm installing it today, at least the fronts, on our Lexus IS300 project car. And I can't wait to get them on. I like this kit because of what it gives to you and honestly the looks, they look pretty good too. So if you're interested in finding out what I consider the best bang for the buck brake upgrade kit is for any car for that matter, or if you wanna find out how to install brakes, the rotor and the pads on your first gen Lexus IS300, then stay tuned. Before we start, let's take a look at what we have here. For those of you new to the channel, this is a newer project car. It is one of three project cars. This is our 2003 Lexus IS300. Although most of it is OEM, there's obviously some upgrades made to the car. And the first off is the inclusion of the TN adjustable coilovers. As you can see back there in the green. And then it's obvious that these are not Lexus Toyota OEM blanks. These are slotted. You can also see here that in the back, apparently at some point in this lengthy life of this car, someone has upgraded the brake line to stainless steel, which is pretty cool. First step is we're going to disconnect the caliper and we're going to be very careful not to put any pressure on that brake line as we attach it with a bungee cord to the, probably the coilover, or maybe the A-arm, whatever it is, we wanna make sure that there's no stretch to it and that we don't damage that. There's two 17 millimeter bolts and then there are two, two 14 millimeter bolts. Right there you can see it, I left the socket on so you can see the other one that's hidden in the back there. I just realized I haven't told you what I consider the best bang for the buck brake upgrade. And again, this is for any car, not just our Lexus IS300. So a lot of the big brakes, big brake upgrade kits out there are really expensive. They're great. I mean, th those kits are really nice kits. I just didn't wanna spend that much money. I wasn't looking for that, but I still wanted something that was a little bit better than OEM. So what I consider 
a great deal is Power Stops brake kits. So they have a couple kits out there. I opted for their Z23 Sport. This is the step up from their OEM, OEM Plus, but not up to the level of Z26. Hopefully it's a nice middle ground for me. They do come with the carbon fiber ceramic performance pads. And with it, they do have uh, special rotors. They're OEM size, but they are slotted and they are cross drilled. So they look pretty good. I'm not convinced that slotted or cross drilled is something that you will notice on the street. Maybe at the racetrack, a little bit better cooling with the cross drilled. Uh, supposedly a weight savings, but I really think that's nominal on any disc. Uh, maybe a little bit better braking with the slotted to catch that uh, brake pad. But regardless, even if it's just a little bit better than what I've experienced with the OEM kit, actually this isn't an OEM kit, <laughs> even if it's a little bit better than what I had, I'll be happy with it. And it's a fantastic price. Before some of you comment, say, hey, that cross-drilled and the slotted, they're not gonna last as long. Those pads uh, won't last as long as organic. You know what, it's a great deal. I don't mind having to change them a little bit sooner than I otherwise would have to if they look this good and they perform better than OEM.
not too difficult. Just follow the steps. Make sure you put those clips in for the brake pads the right way, the right orientation. It's up to you if you want to add grease to the ends, the ears of the pads, the backing of the pad. That's all optional. But I think it looks great. It's a really nice looking rotor. I now have to do the other side, but I can't wait to try it out. See how it performs. With that said though, I think we're done for today. I wanna thank you very much for joining and until next time.